Well, hey, welcome back, Taurus. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. If you are new, hello, I am Yasmin. If you have not already, please like and subscribe. So Taurus, this is your part two. This is going to be for your love only. We're going to start with the oracles. We're going to end with some oracles, but we're going to use the tarot in the middle. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started with your reading. I am not going to shuffle the way I normally shuffle with this just because these cards are so fragile and I'm so heavy handed. I will tear up these cards. Okay, <laughs> so love offer try to come out. So I do see that that's coming in for you. But let's see. Uh, I'm being told to shuffle again. Okay, so let's see. This is for Taurus. Taurus opening up so someone is going to be opening up or this is a new opportunity here uh for you doors are opportunities but let's see someone from your past someone from your past may want to open up to you same story isn't it interesting it doesn't matter what i do this person just will not go away whoever this is taurus unexpected this is unexpected and it's i love the position that it came out because it didn't come out at the end now you could release someone from your past that's true but this is an unexpected event you don't expect for this to happen and it talks about friendship okay well well i mean i guess okay so one thing that i will see i, I mean i will say about what i'm seeing is that this unexpected event that's coming in, it could be someone that you don't know as well. And it's going to be very, you know, important for you to get to know this person. That's what I'm seeing here with the friendship. Like you're not like running into it. You're not going diving into it. It's like you are getting to know this person because there's something about them that feels familiar. Nostalgia, right? And again, it could be someone that you know, but something unexpected is happening here. Oh, Hmm. Twin flame chaser. So before I feel like in the past you were maybe possibly not everyone, not everyone. Maybe you were really trying to get this person to be with you or listen to you or you were trying to make it work with someone in the past who you thought was a twin flame or soulmate. There is conflict. Someone had an epiphany moment. Look at this fatal event and inner conflict coming out. Oof, this is you having an inner conflict. Why? Because something unexpected is going to happen. You're not going to expect maybe to make a choice or that this person is even that someone, someone from your past is even coming in here. So now you're like, I used to love you, but I can't love you anymore. But I, maybe I still do, right? It's kind of like that inner conflict. Let's get the last one unrequited you have some type of inner conflict because there was love that was not reciprocated in the past but it still looks like the person is coming in here didn't i tell you love offer i usually do this at the end i don't know what made me do this now <laughs> just pick it up there's a love offer coming in that's unexpected someone is opening up even if it's to someone new someone is going to let you know but we're gonna go ahead we're gonna go ahead and get into the tarot I want to see what this is all about here. Huh. Let's get some cards for Taurus. Oh, two came out. Hmm. Someone is watching you from the internet, literally. Someone is spying on you through the internet. Someone who misses you a lot here. You, you're probably doing this as well, though, Taurus. Some of you are spying on someone. This could be through a different account. Your person could be spying on you through a different account. There is unfinished business, though, with someone from your past is what I'm saying. This is for Taurus. Thank you. Mm. You're going to have a decision to make. And it's not going to be easy because this person is all of a sudden being loyal and they look grounded now. But this is the person that really made you feel like, I don't even know. It's 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 like, you don't know if you want to deal with this person because there was an unbalance before. 
and there's two different people. I see two different people. Someone is offering you something and I think you're just tired. I, I think that it's just because of everything that has happened. You need to heal. You're tired of overthinking, but that's part, maybe that's part of the inner conflict, right? You don't know what to do. Maybe you start, maybe you will start having feelings for this person or this person is really going to try to win you over and it's going to be like, damn, <laughs> let's get this for Taurus. I'm telling you, look here. Thank you. Exactly. There's options and there's more than one person that's watching you. Taurus, what the hey? So I do feel like some of you are still thinking about the past. I see that. Okay. And someone wants to reunite. That's true. But for a lot of you, you're kind of like, I'm keeping my options open. That's why you're opening up. There you go. You're opening up to these different options. And that could cause a lot of inner conflict because it's like, who do I want to even deal with? Maybe it's two different people that you really dig. And someone has to go, fatal event. It is going to be some type of releasing of some sort, not just an unexpected thing. I think it was unexpected that there was more, a lot of different people wanting you all at once. It's like, it was dry. All of a sudden it was like, it was a dry period. And all of a sudden, you know, it was rain. It's raining, man. Okay. That's what happened. Or women. <laughs> or whatever. But a lot of options here. And I think you need clarity. And you will get it. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. Why not? Some of y'all are waiting for the past. And for others, your past is waiting for you. Maybe waiting for you to open up. And you haven't been opening up because you're dealing with other people. Y'all know how this goes. However it works for you. But y'all out here balling. Y'all got options. Y'all got people offering you stuff, trying to pay for stuff. <laughs> let's go ahead. Let's keep going. This is going to be for Taurus. I know that's right, Taurus. That's what I'm saying. Oh, man. Yeah, I love it. So truly, this is going to be up to you. And you're going to have to make a decision. And it's going to be very hard. I'm just telling you, this is not going to be easy. Uh, because, and this is kind of like a Virgo reading. Virgo is like this, too where you know there's going to be a choice in love it depends on where your heart leads you and you're going to make the right decision but that's what this is all about so taurus i said i was going to end with some oracles so we're going to see sag matched up perfectly virgos matched up perfectly perfectly let's see how yours match up this is going to be for taurus okay all right Ooh. yeah an ending Something is going to end and for something new to happen. And it could have already ended. But you're going to use your, your help, your spiritual uh, eye. Okay. Here, true love is coming. Finding true love. True love is coming in here. And it's going to be unexpected. A lot of you are very health conscious right now. I see you exercising a lot. That's I keep telling you, this is the reason why so many people are into you. Something about you, you are looking good. Like you're changing up the way you eat, your clothes, your skin, all of that. And you're attracting so many people. Listen, I feel synchronicities and dreams is also important for you. Mirror, self-reflection, shadow work. This is you. How do you see yourself? Love yourself, especially if you have been through a lot here with tears, allowing, you know, feeling feeling like you're not worth it or feeling like you're not good enough because you felt rejected. Okay? Or you're dealing with a love-hate situation. You love someone or can't get out of someone. Here, it talks about look in the mirror. Okay? It's going to take you to fix things. That's for some of you. Let's go ahead. Let's get some more here for Taurus. I'm going to take you, Taurus, but you got love here. You got true love all up in your reading, and it's coming. Knife, betrayal. Ooh, something that's going to cut deep. For some of you, you will experience this, and that's why it's ending. A lot of you already experienced that. You were like, listen, I don't want to ever deal with you. You're leveling up, and it's meant to happen. I see a lot of success here, a lot of achievement for what you're doing recognition for your job but with this this is like leveling up 
to this is going to be something better not dealing with the same person who you know who was not meant for you so the universe is going to give you something better that's what i'm saying because what they did cut it hurt and went deep okay it cut you to the core right and there's going to be a lot you know you've been through a lot this is a lot of emotion this is good emotion and bad emotion I meaning like crying because we saw tears so it's good and bad but i feel like i said good good stuff is coming in here but use your intuition is what i'm saying use your intuition when it comes down to making decisions uh, because you will have it. I looked down and ring was, uh, I was, I looked at ring while I was shuffling. So I do see commitment coming in for you. Let's go ahead. Let's get one more. There you go. At the bottom of the deck, it says steps. This could be a baby, but this is also a new beginning. Okay. Taking action. Something is approaching. And at the bottom of the deck, it is discipline. This came out for Virgo, I think. It talks about practice and perfection. I feel like you don't have to be perfect, but you want to be just right for you and discipline. And that comes from if, if you want to be good in anything, especially if a lot of you are wanting to be good in relationships, it takes self-control. So that means not giving in to nonsense, that type of stuff. And some of you could be giving in to nonsense. And this is the reason why you're having issues. Lord, I cannot stand the way that look. Y'all already know that I'm a Virgo. I cannot stand bent cards. Woof. It is a pet peeve of mine. It's just the way these cards are, though. You can't even, you can't really do too much because they'll start bending. But anyway, this is what I have for you uh, here, Taurus. Okay, love offer coming in. Um, a release here and um, a lot of self-reflection for all of you, a leveling up, okay, and endings for those who have cut very deeply, for very deeply, not, not just love, though. This could happen with family as well, but this is a love reading, so I feel like a lot of you have experienced this. But this is what I have. Taurus, thank you so much for coming back to my channel. And again, if you are new, please like and subscribe. If you are interested in a Valentine's reading, you can go to the description box in the, uh, yeah, you'll see my email and you can just email me. All right, Taurus, love you. Bye.